Yo, we ready to listen in audio of Boxing Bar. Boxing Bar was the um the cat that cut Mano when they was locked down years ago. That's why y'all see that scar that cut on Mano's face. Dude, Boxing Bar was the one that done it. And he, you know how you look at certain rappers, the way they carry themselves for us, like their, um, the image they portray and shit, right? So you wouldn't think. No type of goddamn uh, fuck shit to come to them and shit, right? But that don't be the problem. I mean, that don't be um, the happenings all the time. Some of y'all favorite individuals and shit be getting punked down, punked and ran down on and shit. But carry this image like, um, oh, I'm, I'm larger than life. I'm gangster and G. But Boxing Bar was the dude that cut Mano um, when they was locked down um, years ago. I think they said Mano did like 10 years for... Um, kidnapping and robbery or some shit like that but your charges don't make you who you are per se y'all are not y'all not understanding that but listen to that boxing bar man so he's speaking on the time he um buck 50 down on um, mano you get what i'm saying Yo, so that was Boston Bar, yo. That was the dude that cut Bano and stuff, man. So, um, I'm gonna rewind it again a little bit. So he said he ain't get like what he was into it with Mano. He ain't fight him or nothing. He said he bucked him. That means that's why Mano got that scar on the side of his face and shit. Yo, so that was Boxing Ball, the dude that cut uh, Mano, I mean, excuse me, y'all, the dude that bucked 50 Mano back in the day when they was in, um, incarcerated. Dude is now currently serving, I think they gave him 30 years or so for um, 
murder or something like that. Allegedly, he was fighting two bodies or something. See, he's been out. You get what I'm saying? He's been out. Then he went back in. You get what I'm saying? Like, a couple of years ago, he went back in for allegedly two bodies, if I'm not mistaken. If it's not two, it's one. And if I'm not mistaken, he uh, was sentenced, what, last year or two years ago? And they trying to, I think they were saying like he was sentenced to 30 to 40 years or something. I don't know. I need to um, do research on it, but that was boxing ball. It says Mayno um, servicing a lot on um, social media. So I was like, I'll bring that to the table and stuff. Because everybody look at certain individuals like, yo, they G's, they gangsters, they this and that. But everybody got some type of um, flaw with them. Everybody got that story where... You know, they wasn't a, a, the the aggressor um that particular moment. You get what I'm saying? You you had to bitch up or you had to take flight or you just didn't man up for a certain situation. So everybody done went through that shit. But for you to keep walking around this motherfucker, acting like you larger than life and invisible and invisible and um invincible. I couldn't get it out right. Then I don't believe. I don't believe nobody just walking around here acting invisible. So there you have it. So y'all go check out Death of the um, Cloud Chaser too. Y'all go check out his platform.